my agent phoned me at the time and he's like, look, Celtic are interested in you. Would you, would you go there in, in January? I was like, I'll run up the road to go to Celtic. Being, a, being from Scotland, you know how big Celtic are. Yeah. And he's like, right, okay. He's like, let's leave it. Let's leave it just now. He's like, I'll be in touch if they're, they're going to make any bids. So I think Celtic made two bids in January. Both got rejected. And then the, um, my agent at the time said, they're going to make one more bid. He's like, but you, you need to go in and make sure it happens because I don't think they're going to accept it. But if you, if you go in and say, look, heart set and going to Celtic, I want to go back up the road to you. Two young kids at the time. Would you let me go? So I ended up not going, not going in to the, uh, the um, chief executive's office. I was still young at the time, and I was like, I didn't want to go in and cause any any drama. So I was like, you know what? My agent said he phoned me on a this was on a I can't the day before the end of the transfer window. He's like, right, pack your stuff up, pack your stuff in your house, put it in the car, and head up. He's like, I'll be at a hotel in Penrith, so it's like halfway between Wolverhampton and. Uh, Scotland. He's like the the Jez Mockler's gonna phone you at six o'clock tomorrow morning. Obviously it's the wind transfer window day that everything everybody wants to get things done early. He's like, I don't know what he's gonna say. He's like, but I've just if it doesn't let you go, you've got stuff in the car, you just take it back down the road. If he lets you go, you're a, you're a two hours away from Scotland, he's like, I'll drive up, I'll stay in Manchester, I'll drive up in the morning, I'll meet you. So right, okay. So I get up to Penrith, get to the hotel, lie in my bed, and I'm thinking do I even try and sleep here? Because if I, if, I, if I miss this phone call in the morning and saying either you're going or you're not, like this could like make or break my career. Because at the time I was thinking, right, I just want to go to Celtic now. Like, I enjoyed Wolves, but when the chance to come to Celtic comes, like it doesn't come around often, so you want to take it with both hands. So I think he phoned me at like 14 minutes past six. So I'm looking, I've got my phone, I've got my phone waiting at six o'clock, I was like six. Six or one, two. I was like, this cunt's no phoning me. He's no phoning me. He's not letting me go. <laughs> and he was like, quarter past six. Quarter, 14 minutes past six, he phones me. He's like, Lee, Jez, Mark's loud. And I was like, yeah, I'm good, Jez. How are you? Blah, blah. He's like, right. He's like, two conditions. Not, uh, yeah, two conditions. One, I'm going to let you go. But you need to forego any bonuses you have if we win the league. So we were sitting top of the league at the point at that stage, and I'm not actually sure how much I, w- I ended up with. I might have been fucking 60, 70 grand or something if we won the league. You need to f- like give that up yeah. if you're going to Celtic. No problem. Done. Done deal. He's like, right, okay. I wish you and your family all the best. And I said, right, Jez, thanks very much, blah, blah, blah. Let's like showered, changed straight up to Celtic Park. Honestly, the smile on my face that day before my mum was like, mum, I'm coming home. She's like, what do you mean you're coming home? I was like, I'm signing for Celtic today. I'm going up, doing my medical and stuff now. So you're kidding on. I was like, no, I was like, serious, I'm coming back. Blah, blah, blah. It wasn't until I got to Celtic Park and I've turned on, I, she turned on the TV and Sky Sports News, see me transfer deadline day and walking about Celtic Park. <laughs> Hairline starting at the back of my ankles a lot, man. <laughs> Jumping on. And I was just, I, was, I got to Celtic Park about half past eight and I ended up leaving about 10 to, 10 to 12, midnight. 10 to midnight. Really? That's yeah. how long it took, yeah. So medicals, but fitness tests, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it was just it was one of the days. It just took forever, but I'm just glad to go done at the end. 